Hey guys, good news, I have a fitness app. You get to work out live with me and other amazing trainers every single day. Go on, download Feel on the App Store or go to feellife.com and start your journey to become. Welcome back to another workout. I'm Joanna So and today's workout is a beginner low impact cardio workout. So if you haven't been active or perhaps you used to be active but you have stopped for a really long time and you want to start moving again, this workout is for you. It's a low impact workout and I'll be guiding you through each workout, okay? So it's going to be really gentle on your knees. So let's start by marching on the spot. So I want you to just start by marching on the spot to get your body warm up. Remember, I want you to take it at your own pace. So if you feel that you can bring your knees higher, then go ahead and bring your knees higher. If not, you can start by just doing small steps, okay? Just breathe in and breathe out. The reason for us to do our warm up is to get the blood in our body flowing and to get our muscles ready. Good, keep marching at the spot. Swing your arms side to side and now I want you to get into leg curls. So just step side to side and curl and bring your heels to your butt. Again, opening and closing your arms and you should feel the stretch on your chest. Very good, there you go. So step side to side, keep your knees bent and keep your knees soft. Keep going, stretch, open up, feel the stretch on your chest and feel your upper body warming up as well. Nice. Now, let's continue to march and what I want you to do is reach side to side, okay? So reach the opposite side and we want to stretch a little bit on our back as well as our shoulders. Good, so reach up, grab it. Imagine you're grabbing something right at the top. Reach for the stars, good. And tiptoe, point your toes, twist your hips. We want to warm up those hips as well. This is going to be a total body cardio workout. Good, now slowly reach side, twist, twist even more. Very good, keep twisting. And move your shoulders and just march it out, good. And now, still on our warm up, I want you to get into few squats. So just lower your butt down and reach up, okay? So lower your butt down, reach up, look up, open up your chest, come back down and squeeze your glutes. Again, up, reach up and squeeze your glutes, very good. Up, open up your chest, straight back and up, nice. You should feel the stretch along your lats, your arms, as well as working on your legs and your glutes. Keep going, one more. Last one. And just march it out. Continue to march, all right? So the first workout is going to be a high knee pull. What I want you to do is stand shoulder width apart with your toes pointed forward. I want you to reach up, bring one knee up, and pull it down, okay? So I want you to crunch in and pull it back down. So this workout will work on your core. At the same time, you will be working on your legs as well as your arms, okay? The goal is to bring your knee as high as you can. So again, reach up, pull it, crunch your abs and crunch it. Ready? Let's go. Up, reach and reach. Good. There you go. So by keeping yourself balanced, you will also feel your core working. Keep going up and reach. Only 40 seconds for each workout and you will get a 20 seconds rest. If you feel that you are struggling, well, you can always just tap and tap, okay? If not, reach and drive your knee in towards your chest. Keep going, 10 more seconds, good. And remember to always pace your breathing. So breathe in and breathe out and rest it out. Very good. The next workout is going to be a squat with front kick. So, just like our warm up, I want you to squat down, reach down. As you come up, give me a nice front kick, okay? And squat back down, come back up, and give me the left kick. Good, so with the kicks, I want you to knee it. Let's go squat down, up and kick. Squat down, up and kick. Good, down and kick forward and always keeping your arms up. Nice, squat down, kick, 
down and kick. Remember to control the kicks. Good. Kick with your heels. Nice. Kick it forward and look straight ahead. So remember with your squats, you should be pointing your toes and your knees forward. Keep going. Go as low as you can with your squats. If this is too tough, you can always just do a half squat and kick. Very good. Now breathe in and breathe out. Next, let's work on our upper body jab cross. So again, arms into a fist, close to your face. I want you to just give me a jab and a cross. And remember to always twist your hips and point your toes, okay? Let's go. Left, right, left, right. Good. And relax your shoulders. Just a slight bounce, but you want to be using the energy from your hips, twisting and punching, okay? So drive the power from your hips to keep twist, to keep twisting and punching. Very good. Keep going, twist and punch. Look straight ahead. One target. Okay? Good. And always remember to keep your elbows and your arms up. Do not drop them. This is wrong. Keep it up and punch strong. Very nice. Good. Keep twisting and rest it out. Woo, take a deep breath and breathe out. Low squat walk. Right. So again, we want to get back into squat. Okay. Squat is a really good beginner workout, which will really work on your lower body. So get into a low squat. Hold this position. Your goal is to move forward and back by maintaining a low position. Good. That's it. So move forward and back and that's it. Okay, so inch forward and inch back. The lower you go, the more you will feel your legs and your butt working. Again, beginners, if this is too tough, come higher and just take a step forward and back. As you progress, go lower and go deeper. Dig deep and feel your glutes working, your legs, your quads working all together. Feel that burn. Good, keep going. Few more and just shake it out. Whew. Still working on our legs. What I want to do is take a step forward, stand right in front of your mat. We want to do reverse lunge with a gentle tap on the floor, okay? So start with your left leg back. Take a step back and tap down, forward and tap down. I want you to keep your both knees bent at a 90 degree angle. Good. Step back and just tap. So always maintain a low position. Right, beginners, if this is too tough, what you can do is just take a wide step and just tap on your knees, okay? Good, you can always start here. As you progress, tap low. That's it. I believe that everybody needs a starting point. Whatever your starting point is, start there and slowly progress. Nice, keep going, tap. Tap and just shake it out. Let's go back and work on our upper body. All right, let's work on inchworm to a shoulder tap. So now step right at the edge of your mat. And what I want you to do is keep your legs straight as much as you can. Slowly reach down, inch forward into a plank and just tap left and right and slowly go back, okay? Try to keep your legs straight throughout. Again, inch forward. As you tap, keep your core tight and do not sway side to side. And now, step back and up. Open up your chest. Let's go for a few more. Forward, left, right. Keeping your core tight and slowly inch back. Up. Let's keep going. You are strong, okay? Whatever your starting point is, what is most important that you are starting this year. Very good, just shake it out, rest it out. Now let's get onto the mat. Let's start with knee push-ups. I know most of us do not like push-ups because it's not easy, but it's an extremely good upper body workout. Beginners, start on your knees, start easy. Right, so on your knees, let's go. Hands wide, go as low as you can and push yourself back up, okay? Lower down your chest to the mat and push yourself back up. This is wrong, okay? Do not pike your butt up or do not dip your hips. 
This is strong. So keeping a straight line, lower your chest and push yourself up. Lower using the chest and shoulder muscles. Push yourself back up. Very good. Keep going down, up, down again, and just gently gaze on the floor. Up, breathe in and out. Last one, and out. Whew. Shake it out. If you want to, you can roll your shoulders and roll your chest as well, okay? Stretch your chest out a little bit. Next, groiners. Right, this is a low impact groiners. So start on a high plank. What I want you to do is bring your left leg towards your left arm and switch, step back and right to your right palm, okay? So step back, switch, and that's it. And step back into a plank. Bring your chest and open up your chest and look up, good. So you should feel your hips working, your butt and your hip flexor being stretched out as well. And step back and open. Very good, keep going. For those of you, if you're not used to this position, you will really feel lots of tightness around your inner thigh area, okay? So keep going, step back, open up, step back, open, step back and just relax. Two more workouts and you will get a one minute break. Low impact burpees, okay? So again, let's start in a high plank position. With low impact burpees, what you can do is you can either choose to step forward and slowly stand up, reach down and step back. If you want to challenge yourself, you can hop in and step up, okay? Choose your option. Right, let's go. So step back, hop in, step up, and back down, step back, or step in and up. Good. And step back. As you progress, hop in and up. And hop out, hop in, and stand back up. Very good. Let's keep going. Whew. And eventually, I know that you will be able to do a full burpee. Step in and reach up, stretch up, and rest it out. One more final workout, okay? Ice skater. With ice skater, what I want you to do is start with both toes pointed forward, cross one leg behind, and just tap down and then change side, okay? So let's go one at a time. Let's go cross, tap down, and reach down. Go as low as you can and feel your glutes working, okay? Bend your knees, keep your knees bent, and you should feel the squeeze on your glutes. Cross and cross, good. Reach and reach. Very nice. This is your final workout and you will get a one minute break. Keep going. If you can, look straight ahead or just gently gaze on the floor. Very nice. Keep going, keep tapping. Tap and tap. Few more, last one. And rest it out. That was your first set, okay? Drink some water, keep yourself hydrated. You have one minute break and we want to repeat the entire workout twice more. Remember, if this is your first workout or if you have just started working out, take it at your own pace, listen to your body, stop when you need to and get back into the workout when you're ready. All right, so wipe your sweat and keep yourself hydrated. Just keep breathing. <clears throat> what you can do is that you can always challenge yourself as well. Instead of doing a 40 seconds workout with 20 seconds rest, you can always increase the workout time to 45 seconds or even more, okay? So we have less than 15 seconds left. The first workout is going to be a high knee pull. So always stand in a neutral position. Toes pointed forward and feet shoulder width apart, okay? Reach up and bring it down, good. So crunch your abs, work on your abs, good, okay? And as you stretch up, you should also be working on your back muscles. Good, reach down and drive your knees to your chest. 
Very good. Up and up. Nice. Feel that heart rate. Feel your muscles burning. Feel your sweat dripping. That is your fat crying and burning. Good, keep going. Keep driving it down, drive it down. Nice. Woo, if you want to, tiptoe, tiptoe, and a few more. You can even get into a hop. Huh. Rest it out a little bit, okay? The next workout is going to be squat with front kicks. All right, I want you to kick like you made it. And remember to always kick with your heels and keep your knees soft. Ready or not, here we go, let's go. Squat down, up, kick, arms up all the time. Left, alternating between your kicks. Good, be in control, okay? Do not just let your leg go loose. Be in control. Nice, and pace your breathing. Go higher, you will feel more on your legs. All right, beginners, you can always start with a low kick and slowly progress. Kick up, point, squat deep, and keep going. A few more, you're almost there. Last one, and just shake it out. Very good. Upper body, jab, cross. We have worked on our lower body, now let's get back onto our upper body. So again, remember, it's all about the movement from your hips. It's not just about your arms moving, okay? So in a fighting stance, wrist and let's go. Left, right, twist your hips and look the opposite side and really twist and punch directly in front of you. Very good. Keep going, punch it like you mean it and just relax your shoulders, okay? Do not tense up your shoulders too much. Keep it relaxed and twist your hips. Work your hips, pivot on your toes. Very good. Punch it. It should be at the same level with your eye line, okay? So do not go too low or do not go too high. Eye line. Look at the target and keep working. Woo! And tighten those core and twist. Very, very nice. Let's get back into a lower body workout. Low squat walk. This workout will really burn your legs, okay? Second set, I want you to challenge yourself and go lower. So let's start. Squat stance, shoulder width apart, slightly wider. Let's go. Walk forward and walk back. Maintain a low position. Do not come up. And walk. Good. Halfway through, let's swap with the left leg forward first, okay? Good. Feel that burn. I want you to feel that burn and do not come up right now. Feel that burn. Hold it there. Feel it. Breathe into the burn and feel it. Very good. This is a new year. This is a new you. You're starting now and I want you to see results. Hold it. Come on. You only have five seconds left. Stay with me, okay? Stay with me. Woo. And now you can shake it out. Oh, well done. Right, now, step right in front of your mat. Let's do reverse lunge with a gentle tap, okay? Choose your option. You can either start by tapping on your knees or tap on the floor. And let's go. Lunge back, tap and tap. Again, gently gaze down on the floor. Tap and tap. Good, keep your body low. Bend your knees, keep them both 90 degrees and tap. Still working on your legs, still driving your heart rate to burn calories and also fat. Keep going, alternating between each side and tap. Good. You're almost there. Breathe in and breathe out. Very nice. A few more and rest it out back to our upper body okay so now step right at the edge of the mat let's go to inchworm with a shoulder tap so again always remember shoulder width apart toes pointed forward keep a leg straight and now let's reach down and slowly inch forward into a plank and tap left right keeping your core strong and now inch back okay leg straight as much as possible inch forward Right, left, 
and slowly inch back. Feel the stretch on your hamstrings. Stand up, open up your chest, and go back down. Good. Left, right, go back. Woo! Now let's go back down. Few more. Inch back. Feel the stretch up. And good job. Just come down and rest for a little while. Your favorite workout, knee push ups, okay? Right. Ready or not, let's do this, okay? So get low. Palms slightly wider than your chest level. And I want you to bring your entire body down as one unit, okay? Bring your chest, lower down your chest towards the floor and push yourself back up, okay? Good. And up. Squeeze the muscles on your chest as well as your shoulders. So you're working your chest muscles, your shoulders and a little bit on your triceps. Again, remember this is wrong or dipping your back is also wrong. Straight, one line. Good. Keep going, keep driving it up and down. Very nice. If this is too difficult, beginners, you can always start by doing small knee push-ups and eventually slowly lower yourself down and push back up. Very good. All right, wipe your sweat. Groiners, okay? I can see my sweat dripping and you should be sweaty as well. So let's start in a high plank position again. All right, so left feet to left palm, all right? Good. And back and switch side. Ready? Let's go. Left feet, open up and stretch those inner thighs and keep going. Feel your glutes working as well. Good. Never knew you had those muscles, did you? <laughs> so open up your chest, look forward and keep stepping. If this is too tough, again, you can always just go as far as you can and step back, okay? Even if it's just a small step, you gotta start somewhere and you progress from there. Good, keep stepping and keep alternating. Very good. Few more. Last one. And just rest it out. Oh my God, wipe your sweat. Next, low impact burpees, okay? Choose your option. You can either choose to hop in or step in. So let's start again in a high plank position. All right, I want you to choose your option, either hop or step in and stand back up, okay? Hop in, up, let's go back down, step back, hop in, step back up, and reach back down. Okay, hop in, up, and go back down. Very good, or step in and slowly reach. Very nice, keep going, good. Every step you take, you are progressing towards your goal. Step in and slowly reach up. Good. Step back, step in and reach up. Look up to the sky, okay? You are almost at the end of your second set. Reach up and rest it out. Now, let's get back up. Oh, my eyes are literally <laughs> filled with sweat. Okay, final workout, ice skater. Again, stand face forward, cross one leg to the opposite side. Ready or not, let's finish it strong. So cross, tap down, cross and tap, good. So gaze gently on the floor right in front of you. Keep your body low and cross and tap, good. Feel the burn on your glutes, feel the burn on your legs and your outer thighs, good. Keep crossing and tap. Again, if this is too difficult, you can just take a step side to side, okay? As you progress, then go lower. Less than 10 seconds. Tap, tap. Last one. And rest it out. That was the end of set number two. Take a one minute breather, rest, keep yourself hydrated, and for the final set, I want you to give me your best effort, all right? So, grab some water and wipe your sweat.
Right guys, you are doing extremely well. Take this precious moment to just keep yourself hydrated. You have 20 seconds left. And we want to start with our first workout, which is high knee pull, okay? I'm sweaty, my hair is a mess, but I want you to look sweaty and messy as well. Ready? Let's go. Reach up and go. Pull it down and reach. Good. Pull it down, drive your knee up, and if you can, tiptoe as you drive your knee up, okay? Tiptoe and even get into a small hop. There you go. Get into a small hop, reach as high as you can, and tiptoe. Good. Whew. That's it. Very good. Final set, guys. Final set. Give me your best effort. Give me all your energy. You have less than 10 minutes of workout. Keep going. Drive it up. Small hops, just small hops, okay? Good, keep going. Last one, and rest it up. Squat with kicks, all right? <sighs> Stand shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward. Kick it like you mean it. All right, show me some badass move, all right? Okay, let's go. Let's start, squat and front kick. Good, ready? And go, squat, front kick, squat and kick. Go higher, okay? Remember where you started and now I want you to challenge yourself and kick higher. Good, if you want to, swing the opposite arm down, okay? The leg that goes up, the arm goes down. Good, that's it. If your right leg goes up, your right arm goes down. Good, swing it and kick, Woo. that way you will have more power in your kicks. Kick it and kick, good, a few more, breathe in, breathe out, last one, one more on the other side and shake it out a little bit, very well done. Back to our kickboxing move, jab, cross, okay, and remember, I want to emphasize that the movement and the power comes from your hips. So use this and drive it from here. That way, you will be working on your core. So let's go. Twist it, work on your obliques, work on those love handles and twist it. Feel that you're twisting and punching, okay? It's not a separate movement, it's together. So twist and punch, twist and punch, and twist and punch. Good. As you twist, that's when you throw your punch Strong punches, good. Keep going, look straight ahead, look at one target, guard your face and keep punching. Oh, I can see you, good. Come on, strong punches, do not drop them right now. Drive it from your hips, twist, pivot on your toes. Last one, and rest it out. Well done, you. Right, now let's step right in front of the mat. Let's go into reverse lunges, okay? So reverse lunge with a gentle tap. Start with your right leg forward and your left leg back. Take a deep breath in and huh, let's go. Tap down, stay low and stay low. Every time you maintain a low position, that's when you will be recruiting more muscle fibers from your lower body. Good. Tap down and remember to keep both legs 90 degrees. Do not lean or hunch forward, okay? This is strong. Keep your chest open and your back straight. If you struggle, remember, start by tapping on your knees. Do not compromise your form just to get the full movement, okay? It is very important that you get the right form before you try to push yourself further. Keep going and rest it out. <sighs> right, let's step back. Let's get into inchworm to a push-up. Again, if you're struggling, you can always start by bending your knees a little bit. If not, let's keep a leg straight and engage your hamstrings even more. All right, let's go slowly, inch forward, and give me a nice shoulder tap, strong core, inch back, stand up, squeeze your glutes, back down, breathe, tap, tap, and slowly inch back and up, okay? Beginners, again, like I say, you can always bend your knees slightly. Reach forward, tap, tap, 
As you reach back, bend your knees again and stand back up, okay? Good. Few more. You are almost there. You are strong, okay? Do not stop right now. You stop when you're done. Ha! Back down. Knee push up. Upper body work. You gotta get this right. Eventually, your goal is to be able to do toe push ups, okay? So, knees together, palms slightly wider than chest, and make sure they're in line with your shoulders. Bring your chest down close to the mat and push up, okay? Look straight down. Do not look straight ahead. You do not want to be straining your neck. So look straight down and push yourself back up. Nice. Push up, keeping your elbows soft. So do not jerk and do not lock your elbows this way, okay? Keeping it nice, soft and in control. Good. Lower down and up. Tighten your core, suck your belly in and really feel your entire upper body as well as your core muscles working together. See your sweat dripping and that is what I want you to feel. Sweaty, burning and I promise you, you will feel damn good right after this. All right, groinous, okay? So again, in a high plank position. All right, palms slightly closer than shoulder width apart or shoulder width apart. Start in a high plank position, left palm to left um, feet, okay? Right back and step forward. Open up, do not rush. I want you to stretch and feel your inner thighs working. So open up and feel that stretch. Good. Keep going, stretch. If you want to, what you can do is add a twist movement, okay? So step back and add a slight twist. Good. Open up, twist and stretch along your upper body as well. Open it up, good, step back, twist, look straight up, back, twist and look straight up. Few more, almost there, up, keep twisting and rest it out. <sighs> Low impact burpees, okay? Right, so again, start in a high plank. You have three more seconds, two more workouts. Let's go. Low impact burpees, step in, reach up, reach back down, step out or pop in, reach up, okay? Choose your option, hop out, pop in, reach up. Let's go. Challenge yourself, add a little bit of hop. Down, up, reach up, good. Down and up, reach up. My belt is coming up. <laughs> And reach up, very good. Woo! Almost there. Do not stop right now. Let's keep hopping. Nice, give me two more, okay? Hop in, reach up, give me one more. Stand up and adjust yourself because you have one workout left. Ice skater. Right, look straight ahead, toes pointed forward. I want you to cross the opposite leg behind. Again, if you want to challenge yourself, add a little bit of hop. This is your final workout, okay? So let's go. If you want to, you can just tap or hop into the workout, okay? Challenge yourself, find your balance and hop side to side. And remember, to find your balance, look at one point. Do not look all over the place, okay? Look at one point. That's how you will be able to find your balance. You're almost there. Keep hopping. Hop, good, and just reach side to side. 10 more seconds left. Breathe, last workout. This is a solid 30 minute low impact cardio workout. Oh, my hair is so messy, I am so sweaty, but I'm feeling so amazing. So, my challenge for you is to do this workout consistently for the next month and progress from there, okay? So let's get our body warmed down and take this time to catch your breath. So just start with both knees on the floor, step your right leg forward. I want you to shift your weight forward and just feel the stretch along your hip flexor, okay? And what I want you to do is place your left hand, cross and just twist, good. 
and look the opposite side. And just take this moment to breathe. Listen to your heart rate, listen to your heart, and just bring it back down. Good. And now just slowly stretch, straighten the right leg and slowly touch the floor and feel the stretch along your hamstring, okay? Only go as low as you can. Do not force yourself to go lower. Just hold it when you feel that mild, gentle stretch. Just hold it there. Breathe into the stretch and slowly go deeper, okay? Do not force the stretch. That is not how you get flexible. It is about listening to your body and working together with your body. Okay, good. Now release it and now bend the front leg, okay? Bend it. And what I want you to do is straighten the back leg and slowly lower your upper body down. If that's all you can do, that's fine. Just start at this level. If you feel that you can go lower, then place both elbows on the floor and reach further. If this is too easy, then go all the way down. Choose your option, okay? And feel your glutes, your inner thighs and the outer thighs being stretched out. And now just push yourself back up. Now, let's, let's switch side, okay? So, opposite side. Left leg forward and just push and bring your weight forward to stretch out the right hip flexor. And now right arm across, twist and look as far back as you can. Good, so you should also feel your back, your lower back, your spine being stretched out. Slow down your heart rate. And now just straighten the left leg, toes pointed up, and just place both palms on the floor and feel your hamstrings being stretched out, okay? Good. Lower down as low as you can. Breathe. And now bend the front leg. Again, straighten the back leg. Only go as far as you can, okay? You should feel this part. Good. Choose your option, elbows, palms, or lower your entire body down. And now slowly come back up. And I want you to just come up into a standing position. Okay, good. And now just roll your shoulders back. Roll your shoulders forward. Good, just loosen up the joints. You have worked hard. This might be your first workout or your second workout, whatever it is. It is important to stretch and just release the tension. Now, open up your chest, push your chest forward, Feel the stretch on your chest, toes, I mean, thumbs pointed up, and now reverse, thumbs pointing down and push back. Good. And now just shake it out. Three deep breaths, okay? So breathe in, bend your knees, reach up, tiptoe, and give me a loud sigh. <sighs> Release all the tired or bad energy again, okay? Breathe in, reach up, loud. <sighs> Last one. Breathe in, reach up, and let's go. <sighs> very, very, very well done. So my goal for you is to complete and start with this workout. Do it at least three times weekly, and you can progress by doing other workouts on the Feel app, okay? Your goal is to stay consistent on a daily basis. Remember, everybody needs a starting point. This might be your starting point, but if you keep it consistent, you will only get stronger. If you want more full-length live workout classes, be sure to download my new fitness app, Feel, on the App Store or go to feellife.com, where I and other instructors will be sharing with you live classes every single day, and you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Don't forget to also give this video a thumbs up, share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for a lot more workout videos, recipes and also fitness tips. 
Remember to start this year strong. And trust me, you will surprise yourself. All the best.